My name is Connor Ford. I play bass and marsupial. I'm here right now in Magpie Cage Studios in Baltimore, Maryland, recording the new marsupial album. I just wanted to show you what I use for my rig, and this is very important to me, and uh, I'm glad that you're listening. I start off with my bass. This is just a really standard Fender Mexican jazz bass. I haven't done any modifications to it at all besides this little chicken head knob, which I put on when uh, the chick or the regular knob fell off. I get the setup twice a year, put new strings on it every six months, and it works really well for me. I love how thin the neck is, and I just feel so comfortable on this bass, so I've never really gotten a new one, nor can I afford a new one. Anyway, we're gonna move into my pedal board, which starts off with uh, the wah, and I'll just play that for you. This is just a crybaby bass wah. I was thinking about getting the big one, but it takes up too much real estate on my pedal board. It's nice and uh, it's nice when you wanna express some things. It's kind of fun. I move into the Super Octave OC3 by Boss, which really gives me like a low growl. So this is my clean tone. And this is the Super Octave. That's like a distortion setting on the OC3, which is really fun to use. It has a bass in actually, which makes it perfect for all bass players. I highly recommend it. This goes into my MXR Bass DI, which I use to mainly shape my tone and just kind of get the right volume for stage or anywhere I'm playing. It also has the option for distortion, which I rarely ever use, but it's fun sometimes. I use it in cat skills during like that hard part. Yeah, I don't really use it too often. Anyway, next is the bass synthesizer, which just makes my bass sound like a synthesizer in general. This is what it sounds like. And then this is what it sounds like with the super octave. makes it sound really, really huge. Then I go into my Micro Qtron, which is just a standard envelope filter. I think it's the best one for bass. Personally, I've been through five different envelope filters and I could never really dial in a tone that I liked um, with any of them, except for the Micro Qtron. I think it just really preserves the low end and it also like isn't, it doesn't give you crazy waves or any like crazy modulation. So you can really control it with your fingers and how hard you play. It's very like sensitive to how hard you're playing. Then I go into another um, modulation effect, the Bubbletron by Keeley, which I really only use to do some weird wave shifting with my bass synthesizer and super octave. So it sounds like this when it's off. And then this is when it's on. So that's really fun. People seem to really like that. Um, then I go into a phase 90, which is just a standard phaser, like tried and true. It's just the orange box. I love it. I use it on ad nine a lot. Um, and then everything gets squashed into my multi comp by EBS and EBS does a great job with their compressors. I really love what they do. Those guys in Sweden really know how to build really great bass pedals. Very simple, just two knobs. It's going to be, it, that's on all the time. And then I go into the, my Korg pitch black tuner, which I just use for my tuner and a, as a kill switch in between songs. And that's my rig. Uh, I use a Ampeg BA-115 currently when I'm like at home and in the studio right now, I'm actually using their wonderful Ampeg SVT tube head going into to an Ampeg 8 by 10 cab and it's just amazing. And yeah, so just be on the lookout for this for the new album and thanks for watching. Uh, you can find us on Spotify and Facebook and Instagram at Marsupial Jams. And yeah, thank you very much.